Hey everybody, it's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm and today we're going to be stripping. Now don't get too excited because I'm talking about stripping paint from the doors in the Old Bird Farmhouse. It's something I've wanted to do for a while because there's some beautiful wood under uh, these old layers of paint. They need to be repainted anyway. We're going to start this video out with an update on the old wash stand here. Now if you watch the video where I cleaned this thing up and oiled it, uh, it turned out amazingly well from how it used to be. And a few days later it has improved even more and it looks so much better. Now I can see too that the wood is still a little dry in some areas so we probably need to get some more of this uh, the orange glow on it some more of this orange oil on it or uh, maybe use some of the other suggestions that i got to re-moisturize the wood but it looks so much better as does the mantle here you know as the days have continued to go by and this has just absorbed more of that oil it just looks better and better and better and i'm super impressed with it so if we go over the room of chairs, I've already got this set up over here. This is the door that I'm going to attempt stripping and I really want to see what this looks like under this paint. You can actually go ahead and see a little bit of this old pine under there. So it looks pretty good there. You can see a little bit more right here under this molding and those moldings look especially beautiful there. So I'm going to be using some uh, soy based paint stripper today. Uh, I've got the other kind too that causes harsh fumes, but we don't want to use that in here at this moment. If the other stuff doesn't work, then I guess we'll have to revert to that. Got the door open and uh, first thing I'm going to try to take off some of this loose paint on here. So let me get ready to do that. That is the window open, not the door. The door is closed because we're going to be stripping it. So I've got a mask on while I'm going to uh, start just kind of taking off some of this loose paint because you, me, the guy down the street, everyone knows that this is lead paint on here. There's no doubt about it. I don't need to test it. I already know it's lead paint. So I got the mask on and uh, let's see if we can't get some of this loose paint on off of here. Of course, we got our tarp down so we don't make too much of a mess here, but let's see if we can't just run up here. See, all that paint's just easily coming off. And it looks like, from the look of this wood under there, it looks like it was treated at some time. Uh, maybe that's why the paint didn't really stick here, because it's that deep red color, like it was it has some stain or something like that on it. And most of this paint's just easily coming off. I'm being real careful so we don't scratch the wood, just taking it off where, where it wants to come off. Right there. Hope you guys can see that all right. There's enough light and it shows up, but that's a beautiful color under there. All right, so I've got the first layer of the stripper on here and we got to give it some time to work. This is not a quick stripper like the, uh, the stuff that has all the bad fumes and whatnot. Uh, so just got to let it sit. It's kind of a gel that we put on and uh, give it about an hour, which is honestly a little bit longer than I'd like to wait. And I guess we got to. What are we using here? We are using Blue Bear Soy Gel Paint and Urethane Stripper. It says it's safe and removes multiple layers with one application. It's even got 100% American-grown soybeans. Now, of course, this isn't a sponsored video, none of that, but that's what we're using. And I guess we'll just let it sit. I can't wait to see what these doors look like under this paint, too. I think it'll be really cool. All right, so we got a little bit of action happening with this paint stripper here. It's just the first layer of paint that's on here, but it's coming off pretty good already. You have the handy-dandy scraper right here, and we're just gently go along and it's pulling that off. Still got another layer of paint to get through. So we'll have to maybe apply some more after we get this bubbly layer off. But it's coming, it's working a little bit.
All right, it's getting a little bit more exciting for me now. Finally got through, I don't know, four layers of paint to the wood. Also, it's interesting, this layer of paint right here, you can see this kind of reddish orange color being drawn out. Don't know what that is, but it's under like, you know, four layers of paint. And when I put the stripper on it, it just immediately changed color to this kind of red. But we're getting to wood, so let's see how much we can expose. <laughs> All right, many hours later, you can tell because it's dark outside and under the careful supervision of Pig Boy, this is how much of the door has been stripped. You can see we're definitely down to some beautiful, beautiful old wood here. And this wood had some kind of, you know, finish on it at one time that this uh, paint stripper's taken off as well. And it does not look as good on camera as it does in person. But once we get the rest of the paint off and then clean it up with some kind of mineral spirits or something, this door is going to look good. And of course, then we'll have to do the rest of the door too. So, I'm going to snap my fingers and we'll be on day two. Just like, hold on, this. All right, folks, so it's going to be day two of uh, trying to strip the door. You can see from the last time that I put this uh, paint stripper on here, all the paint has bubbled on it. And I applied a fresh coat today, so it's all wet again. And it looks like the paint's coming off pretty good. So I'm gonna glove up and uh, get the scraper and see how much more we can expose today. Hopefully we can get kind of this part of the door back to wood. Let's cross our fingers. <music> So here's where we're at on the door. It's definitely stripping and it's stripping pretty good. It's stripping a lot better than it did on day one. And I think that's because I put that stuff on there and just let it sit overnight for a good long time. And the stuff just came right on off today. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna reapply this stuff now that I've got the uh, first layer of paint off of it and let it get to working on this second layer of paint here. I'm gonna let it sit overnight and then hopefully next time we'll be able to just go ahead and get this door down to wood in entirety. You can see some of the wood is really showing up and you can see how pretty it is under that paint down there. I also need some smaller uh, tools to work in the crevices and get the paint out, but it's looking good, it's looking good. I'm really impressed by it actually. 
Um, I was getting a little worried because I wasn't happy with the way these two panels that we started with were turning out. But I think it's going to come out. I think there's still some kind of paint or something on these panels that's causing that almost kind of pink discoloration. So I think even those, another scraping on them will get them back to wood. Then I guess we use mineral spirits to clean the door. And once we get it back to bare wood, we'll figure out where we go from there. But it's looking good. I really hoped that at the end of this video, we'd have the door completely stripped. Uh, but that's, uh, that's not going to happen because this is the second day and uh, the paint's just not cooperating. It's not coming off very easy. So I think uh, we'll do it one lay at a time and just let it sit overnight. Uh, I wanted to finish this video out, but if I'm not releasing videos, then I ain't making money. And if I ain't making money, I ain't being able to work out here on the Old Bird Farmhouse. So I got to go ahead and release this video. Stay tuned for part two. Hopefully we'll get this door completely stripped out in the next couple days and uh, go a step further, get it cleaned up and oiled maybe, or maybe stained and get this looking really good. Just a good feel good project inside of the Old Bird Farmhouse while it's kind of chilly outside. Hope you enjoyed. Also, don't forget to check the link down in the bottom for the merch store. Pick up some t-shirts, mugs, whatever else, and we'll see you next time.